हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फॉर यू फ्रेंड्स इन दी वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इक्विवेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस सो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द इक्विवेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस बिटवीन द सर्किट फॉर दैट वी हैव टू फॉलो सर्टन प्रोसीजर द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज वी हैव टू कीप द टर्मिनल अक्रॉस विच वी आर मेजरिंग द रेजिस्टेंसेज Uh, we are determining the resistances it must be present till the end of the problem okay so this is our first step the next is to identify the label okay uh, sorry identify the nodes and label it so uh, so we will identify the node in the problem and further we will label them as a b c d e etc okay the next step is to uh, redraw the circuit whenever necessary actually it is not the compulsory step but uh, it will make our circuit simple if possible we can redraw the uh, network on the basis of these nodes further we will identify the resistances connected in series and parallel and further we will apply the formula for series and parallel uh, connection of resistances and further we will solve the problem the next is as far as we will avoid the star delta transformation because it's time con consuming or it may makes your circuit more complex therefore mostly we will avoid star delta transformation but if uh, if uh, uh, no option is available we will use the same step uh, star delta connection but it will be covered later in our next uh, some next tutorials maybe second or third uh, video tutorial if uh, the circuit is uh, symmetrical about the line then we have to find the equivalent resistance of half and further we uh, the next will be the uh, equivalent resistance will be half now let us talk about the resistances resistance will have always two terminals and uh, this is a fixed resistance whereas this one is the variable resistance now let us talk about the connections series connection of resistances if the resistances are connected one after other then such a combination is known as series combination in this case three resistances r1 r2 and r3 all these three resistances are uh, connected here one after other like this so, so this node b and this node b why this is no name same because the wire which is shorting them is called as single node okay so this is also a single node so now these resistances are connected in par a series and in series connection the equivalent resistance is the sum of all the resistances there so here in this case the equivalent resistance is sum of this r1 plus r2 plus r3 that is r equivalent now you can denote it as r equivalent like this simply r in some cases some people indicate r s with r series but note that the first point and the last point will exist there that is a and d will exist there so you can name it as r a d also so this is a series combination of resistances here again some points are uh, to be remembered here in case of a series connection the current is same uh, which is flowing through the resistances now equivalent resistance is the addition of all the resistances connected in series and equivalent resistance of a series connection is always greater than the individual resistances connected in series so these are the points to be remember one more is there the first point and last point will exist there and remaining points will be laps the second one is the parallel connection of resistances when the resistances are connected one across other note that these this is your node a and all the node a sorry all the resistances are connected to node a and all the second terminal of all the resistances are connected to another node then we can say that these resistances are connected in parallel and these resistances can be replaced by a single equivalent resistance like this and if we replace this again the nodes will remain as it is a and b will remain as it is and no node will eliminate will be eliminated here and the equivalent resistance is equal to actually the reciprocal of equivalent resistance is equals to sum of reciprocals of all the individual resistances connected in parallel 
so this was all about the parallel connection now again some important points to be remember here here the potential difference will be same okay and here if two resistances if two resistances are connected then we will use this formula here the numerator uh, here the multiplication is in numerator whereas addition is in denominator but this formula is only valid for the two resistances connected in parallel then in case of a parallel resistance equivalent resistance is always smaller than individual resistors connected in parallel and here after implementing the parallel connection the two terminus that is two nodes will remain as it is node in the circuit is the point where two or more resistances or elements are connected in this case now we have to solve the this our example number one here reduce the network shown in the figure below into a single equivalent resistance so we have to reduce this circuit into a single equivalent register how to uh, reduce it so the first step is to identify the node now to identify the node this is our circuit so here this node is shorted to this point means this point this point and this point is same similarly this one this one and this one is same similarly this one this one and this one is same let it, uh, let me color it with uh, some different uh, colors so this is our node a this is our node b this is the third node okay let us label it as node c so after labeling we will get a node here b node here and c node exist over here now we have to solve the problem now how to solve the problem is to apply the series parallel connection now we will apply series parallel connection here in this case you can note here that this is node a and this 4 ohm resistance is connected between node a and c similarly this 4 uh, 1 ohm resistance is also connected in between node a and c therefore we can say that the 4 ohm and 1 ohm resistance are connected in parallel similarly this 2 ohm and this 3 ohm resistances are connected here in parallel because they are connected between nodes c and b and therefore i can write this and further i can use the formula to uh, solve this parallel connection if two nodes are connected in parallel so i will solve first this one let it be r a c here r a c will be equals to 4 ohm and 1 ohm are connected in parallel so numerator in numerator its multiplication and its denominator their addition will be there therefore it is 4 upon sorry it is 1 4 upon 5 and therefore which is equals to 0 0.8 ohm so RAC is 0 0.8 ohm also 2 ohm and 3 ohm resistances which is connected between RBC B and C node okay so rbc is equal to 2 into 3 in numerator and in denominator 2 plus 3 that is 6 over 5 6 over 5 is equals to 1.2 ohm so in this way we got two resistances one of 0.8 ohm and another is 0.2 ohm note also that a and c node as well as c and b node will remain as it is only these two resistances are replaced by single resistances like this so 0.8 ohm in numerator uh, in between a and c so let me draw this 0.8 ohm in between a and c so this is what a this was c and 1.2 ohm resistance between c and b so our circuit will be converted into this okay now you can easily see here that this 8 ohm resistance and these 1.2 ohm resistances these are actually uh, connected one after other that means that these two resistances are in series and therefore r a b that is equivalent resistance between terminal a and b is equals to r a c plus r r c b okay first point and last point will remain as it is c will uh, eliminated here 
therefore it is 0 0.8 plus 1.2 ohm which is equals to 2 ohm therefore equivalent resistance is here 2 ohm now let us solve another problem it is our example number 2 so this is the problem first step is to identify the node and in this case we have identified the node like this okay all the uh, wires are denoted here with a color so this is a single node this is a, also a single node and this is also a single node i can rename it as label it as c d and e respectively now to find the equivalent resistance we have to identify the resistances in series and parallel in this case you can easily see that these two resistances that is 6 ohm and 12 ohm resistances are in parallel because they are connected in between d and e so i can write here r d e equal to r d e equal to in numerator 6 multiplied by 12 divided by 6 plus 12 this is the simplest way to remember this formula it is uh, 6 into 12 divided by 18 so i can write 6 threes are 18 and here it's 4 so the equivalent resistance is 4 ohm so i can write a 4 ohm resistance between d and e so this is d and e so these two resistances will now be replaced by a single resistance of 4 ohm as it is okay now you can see in between c and d and d and e these two resistances are connected one after other this means that 6 ohm and 4 ohm resistances are in series are in series means they are they will be added and therefore equivalent resistance again the first point and last point will remain as it is okay so r c e here r c e will be there and it is equals to r c d plus r d e that is 6 plus 4 equal to 10 ohm resistance so our equivalent resistance for these two resistances is a 10 ohm resistance so i can replace these two with a single 10 ohm resistance just like this now in between c and e this 10 ohm resistance is there this is also c and this is also e so a 10 ohm resistance is also there is in between c and e therefore we can say that these two resistances are connected in parallel and if these two resistances of 10 ohm are connected in parallel the equivalent resistance are c e equal to 10 into 10 divided by 10 plus 10 so 100 by 20 is equals to 5 ohm the equivalent resistance is 5 ohm in this case so uh, in between rce these two resistances are now replaced by a single resistance of 5 ohm like this now you can easily see that these three resistances are connected in series because they are connected one after other therefore equivalent resistance will be the sum of all these three resistances and therefore r a b equivalent resistance or we can say that a total resistance is r a b actually r a b is equals to 3 plus 4 plus 5 ohm and which will be equal to 12 ohm so in this way the equivalent resistance between a and b is 12 ohm now let us solve another problem which is somewhat complex but uh, not actually very hard uh, again we have to find the total resistance in between a and b actually total resistance and equivalent resistance is same because we have to find it between these two terminals now to solve this uh, always note this point must be remain as it is therefore we are solving from this part and again the first step is to identify the node like this now we will label node like this and further you can see that in between b and e these 10 ohm sorry these 100 ohm resistances are in parallel if the resistances are connected in parallel the equivalent resistance is always r b e and this terminal will remain as it is r b e equal to 100 multiplied by 100 divided by 100 plus 100 b 
which is equals to 50 ohm calculate it you will get 50 ohm now now these two resistances can be replaced by a single resistance of a 50 ohm in between terminal e and b so e and b will remain as it is only two resistances these two will be replaced by a single 50 ohm resistance like this so we have replaced it with a single resistance now again you can see that these two resistances that is a 50 ohm resistance between d e and it in between e and b they are in series if the resistances are c in series then equivalent resistance r what is the name a here d b r d b will be equal to r d e plus r e b which is equals to 50 plus 50 equal to 100 ohm note that this point will be eliminated here means e will not be there and therefore our single resistance of 100 ohm will be there like this and again in between d and b this 100 ohm and in between d and b this 100 ohm resistance is also there so these two resistances can be replaced by a single resistances which is the equivalent resistance r d b so r d b equal to these two resistances are in parallel so 100 multiplied by 100 we have already solved this calculation that is 100 divided by 100 it is equal to 50 ohm resistance so these two resistances now can be replaced by a single 50 ohm resistance <coughs> like this now again same case is there this 50 ohm and this 50 ohm resistance these two are in uh, series and therefore the equivalent resistance are cb rcb equal to 50 plus 50 which is equals to 100 ohm now this 100 ohm can be replaced by a single resistance okay sorry these two resistances can be now replaced by a single resistance of 100 ohm like this okay and therefore circuit can be redrawn into this and now again same in between c and b a hundred ohm there and in between c and b again a hundred ohm resistance is there they are connected in parallel and in parallel the equivalent resistance again of hundred ohm it will be 50 ohm like this and therefore circuit can be redrawn like this so here you can easily calculate r a b which is nothing but the sum of these two 50 ohm resistances because they are connected in series and if they are connected in series they will be added so 50 plus 50 is 100 ohm so here the rab that is total resistance is 100 ohm so in this way we have calculated the equivalent resistance between terminal a and b the last problem is to be solved by you people uh, this is for your practice Okay, I have provided solution and I will explain there. You can pause video and uh, start calculating it. Okay, if not, you can continue. Now, uh, again, to identify the node. Okay, after identifying node, we will label it. So, this is our first node and this is our second node. That is C and D is existing over there. These two are in parallel. We will solve it with single resistance that is 4 ohm. Okay, now these two will be in parallel. So it is sorry in series so it will be replaced by a 10 ohm resistance that is 6 plus 4 and further this will be in parallel with this 10 ohm resistance like this further again this two 10 ohm are in parallel so it will be replaced by a single 5 ohm resistance like this now 7 ohm and 5 ohm are in series so these two resistances are replaced by a single resistance of 12 ohm because they are in series okay and lastly you will get circuit like this and further solving it you will get r a b equal to 8 ohm so in this way you can calculate these resistances so try it for your practice then in next video tutorial i will solve uh, some problems i will explain some problems where a and b terminals are not uh, at the outside but it is existing somewhere inside the network okay like this and to find the equivalent resistance for such a network we will uh, please see the next tutorial and please subscribe if you are coming first time thank you